Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your clips from the Spider-Man PS4 game and the Miles Morales Spider-Man game look like they came straight from across the Spider-Verse and we are going to be using Final Cut Pro for this one so if you don't have that unfortunately the steps that I will show you in this one will not work for you. But to start, you want to go to your settings, select game, and then make sure that your time of day is set to sunset. It will definitely work best with this one because the sky is blue, orange, and pink, and it just adds a lot of color into it. And then you want to record your clip of you swinging around or doing whatever you want. And you want to make sure that you have multiple angles to get the colored lighting coming in from all sides. And once you've done that, you want to put your clip into Final Cut Pro and we can start color correcting. You can see this is the video edited up to this point. So everything I just said is actually right here. But anyway, once you're in here, it's very simple. There are only a couple changes we actually have to make to get this to look almost identical to the Spider-Verse look. We wanna go over here on the bottom right, sort of not really bottom right, and click on that. And then we're gonna type cyan blacks with warm highlights. So cyan, as long as you have this video selected to all, it'll show you the filters for all of these different presets or categories, I guess. And you wanna select that. So you can see it's already got a more Spider-Verse looking color as opposed to this. So what I'm actually gonna do is copy and paste the original clip back to back with this one, just so we can see the differences. So it already looks a lot better, but obviously that is way too bright and that is what we will be changing in a moment. Then you wanna go and type prism. So this is our second one. We're definitely gonna make edits to these, but these are the main ones that you want to have selected. And then the final one is called newsprint, and this is going to give it that comic book look. Obviously, once we're all done, a lot is going to be changed, but for now, this is all we need. So now you wanna click off of this and we're gonna click these three things at the top. I don't know what to call those, sliders, I guess. And we're gonna start by going over to this. I guess it's called the video inspector. So first we have our prism and we want to lower this from 16 to one so that there is some blur because they they didn't have motion blur in the movie but they did kind of have that like prismy filter kind of like that but we want ever so slightly for it to be visible. Then we're going to go on to our newsprint and our amount is going to be set to two. So it doesn't change the color as much, but we're still gonna be able to see it once we've made other changes to it. The brightness we're going to have at zero. Then for the scale, we're going to put that at 6.5. So as you can see, when we're changing this, it's making the little, I don't know, the, the newsprint design bigger and smaller and 6.5 is ideal for any shot. And then our contrast is going to be one and we're gonna leave the noise at zero. Now we're going to click this triangle thing for the colors and make our final changes. We're almost done. Obviously it looks way too bright right now and that is what I'm going to correct right here for our contrast. We're gonna lower that down to negative five and then for our brightness, we're going to increase that slightly to 43. For our saturation, we're gonna leave that at 74. And then we're gonna go way down to the mid-tones warmth and set that to 17 to make it less blue. And then lastly, our shadows warmth, which is going to be minus 27. So here is our final result in comparison to the original one. If you just click between them, you can see there are obvious changes. And now I'm going to actually put them over each other and do a little crop so that you can see the difference. There, just like that, I'm gonna play this clip and our right side is the edited and then the left is the original. You can definitely see the newsprint is making a big impact on this one. But overall, I just really like the brighter tone to the right side of the screen here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.